My filing stroke actually is this. So I'll just go to this. That's it. Now I start to straighten my file out. And then that works the top corner and the top plate, the cutting edge, so to speak. You see, fans? And there we go. It. Good morning. It's December 25th, which means it's Christmas morning. Um, which means we're getting close to another year. Ending. Uh, I do a lot of reflecting Christmas morning. A lot. Um, and w what seems to be a theme for me over the last few years is gratitude. It's just more gratitude. Um, it's warm out right now. I, I, I don't know what the degrees are. I, I don't have a, a, a degree thing in my truck, in the Merc. <laughs> but, um, I, I, friends, if you come to this channel on a regular basis, if you come to this channel now and again, thank you. Thank you. But what this is right now, excuse me, is a special little little extra thank you for the people who support this channel on a different level okay they they just do um and in times where perhaps let's just say work is down or or just just times where things are slow or i want to help someone you know, I want to go do something for, for nothing, for free. There's a group of people on this channel, part of this community, who support this, 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 this message, this channel, on a monthly basis, and we call them the Messengers of Kindness. And they're up on the wall in the bunker, their names. There's a couple more we got printing. Uh, uh, decal has got a couple more uh, printing up. Um, Merry Christmas decal in your family. Sticker. Adam. J Poo. J Poo. Um, so but but this is this is a special a special thank you and a special Merry Christmas to the messengers of kindness. So as a community, as a group of people, if you feel like it, because let's be honest, you don't have to do a damn thing. You don't. It's up to you. It's your choice. That's what's so beautiful about our our life, our, our, our ways, our society, is we get to choose whatever we want to do, friends. I chose to run a power saw well over 20 years ago. I made a decision. We're not going down that story right now, but that's what I decided to do because I know that it made me happy. And it, yes, it was a freaking struggle in the beginning when I quit my... If you're darn tootin', it was. My wife and I with this house, no kids. <laughs> it was just, let's get the mortgage paid. I was cleaning gutters, working on farms, doing anything. As long as I had a power saw in my hand. The gutters was something that got me through. I worked... Uh, what was that again? For some reason, gutters is in my mind, I think. I didn't work for a gutter company. I just remember helping. Oh, it was a, it was construction. That's what it was. I, I just I did anything in the midst of not running saw. If I wasn't running saw, I had to be doing something to create flow, to pay for a house, to pay for a mortgage, to pay for our life. So, um, the back to the choice thing. Back to the choice thing. It was I would like to thank the messengers of kindness for coming to this channel and supporting this channel. So this is to the messengers of kindness the people hanging on the wall that come here monthly and support out of their own time, fruition, pockets, whatever you want to call it, that come and support this channel. 
on a monthly basis. Thank you, messengers of kindness. Thank you, soldiers of kindness. You know what's funny, friends? The Bucking Army, the T-shirts, the axes, everything, everything. And people who've been here since day one will attest to, to this. I don't know no big words. It all came from the people. It all came from the people. The axes came from people asking. The t-shirts the came from people asking. Everything came organically from the people. Everything. So I'm honored, friends. I'm honored. I'm so freaking proud of this community of people. Friends. Hey, good morning. It's Christmas morning. How's everybody doing? It's, uh, I got a little present for, for Hogan. He's been doing a good job. He's been showing initiative. He's been showing, you know, the other day I, I got called on more park work. <laughs> above me everywhere so I went and separated it from the stump and then just gonna come in here and just match all this crap. Just a bunch of blow down. But it's all loaded so you gotta be very careful. And uh, he had to borrow a power saw and go down and, and help his buddy. A tree fell down as you guys know we got them wind storms right? So so a tree fell down and uh, and he had to go well, he didn't have to. He, he, he chose to go help his buddy, right? Uh, cut trees off his neighbor's fence and stuff. Just, just power saw work. He wanted to go help out. So he grabbed this thing here, which uh, it, Nick put this saw together, friends. It's a 65. It's a, it's a 365, friends. Okay? Yeah. So uh, Ho Hogan's been working hard. He's been working real hard. He's showing way more initiative now than he ever has. He's hit and miss. He's 19 for crying out loud, right? But he, uh, you know, so anyways, I'm down in the park helping out parks again. And he texts me and says, where are you at? Are you done? I'd like to come down and help out. I'm like, I thought he was bringing his buddy. Well, no. Down he comes with this 65 over his shoulder, straight up logger style, <laughs> down the trail to come and help out his old man. You know what I mean, friends? So I've just seen, I've seen things in him recently that, uh, deserves reward so it's Christmas morning he's still sleeping Rita's sleeping Wendy's doing her thing in there and I'm out here and I'm gonna sparkle up 
ลบ
but we can do a couple strokes for you here, like this. Yeah. Yeah, you see you guys? These files are pretty wicked. Those are those files that came from Dan. So, and the saw is not, it's not dull. But you can see the, the file, it, it's just, I mean, I'm, I'm not doing any of the boat action right now. The power saw has only been filed once or twice. So it's still got good gullet. I don't want friends to take the get the gullet to a to a to another level and forget about the working corner. You you can change the angle of your file at any point to get any any uh there we go. She's stuck on the wood up there. To get any desired angle you want on the on the on the chain. And you don't have to you, you can let the file do the work. Like, look, I'm, I'm going quite lightly here. Look, hear the difference to this? You see, if you hit a rock, you see, friends? So, I'll put a sky view on for me, from me doing it too, so you can look down Look down at me doing it here. I'll put this down like this. There. There, that's what it looks like from, from up above. I'm catching on the wood there. Ah, there we go. What am I catching on? Oh, I'm catching right there, I see. <laughs> uh, where are we? Here we go. I do a little bit of boat sometimes when I'm trying to create a certain thing. Yeah, this this has been uh, turn your file a bit, friends too. Like I don't mean like I'm 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 turning it. Turn it like use a different spot on the file is what I'm saying. He's got quite an angle on this right now. So I'm just gonna get it straightened away here. can feel it get smooth. It's just a wonderful feeling when it gets. So you guys can kind of see what's going on there. Oh. Let's change the angle a bit for you now. See? You guys see what, what I'm doing there? You're basically almost right in level with the power saw. With a good... Hey, friends, what do you think? There, that's what it looks like from, from up above.
catch it on the wood there. I do a little bit of boat sometimes when I'm trying to create a certain thing. Yeah, this this has been. Uh, Turn your file a bit, friends, too. Like, I don't mean like I'm 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 turning it. Turn it like use a different spot on the file is what I'm saying. There we go. Hoagie's got quite an angle on this right now. So I'm just gonna get it straightened away here. A nice file. So I'm filing on the back of a tailgate here right now. And what I like to do is this. You just put your tip in there so it can't go anywhere and you can just rock both sides of the file, friends. Oh yeah, he's got her. What's he got going on here? Oh, not bad. Not bad. It was cutting pretty good. Can you guys see the angle of the file? I'm, I'm... Right? You can see it, right? You, you'll see sometimes a little of this, not not this, this is not good. But a little of, of this in the beginning is okay. This, here's the boat, this is the boat. And I only do, if, if I'm gonna use the boat, I only do it three or four strokes and it rips the gullet right out of there and then I straighten out like this. So, to be honest with you, my filing stroke, my filing stroke actually is this. So I'll just go to this. That's it. Now I start to straighten my file out. And then that works the top corner and the top plate, the cutting edge, so to speak. You see, friends? And there we go. It it really doesn't matter how many times you hit the file or hit the hit the hit the cutter to, it doesn't matter. If you want to stop your chain from going anywhere, just hit hit the handbrake. I just do a couple, just a couple on the gullet. That's it. A couple of hard ones, and then I'm just changing his angle a little bit. That's why we're going through this process right now. But you can there. I just had to knock the top a bit, he, and then I can get it rolling straight through again. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. He's got his angle facing out a ways, so I just want to stay with that, and not change it. He's getting there, friends. He 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 deserves a a nice little shot in the arm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one for him. We're gonna give him this saw for Christmas. don't want to lose that gullet you don't want to end up having no gullet in it you want to have so that's why initially friends initially when I go out of chain depending I take a look at it you, you investigate it investigate it first so you see what you need to do don't just start going take a look at the side see what you got for hook if it's looking like this and no hook you want to
going to dig some of that out. So if that's the case, then, then this is what I do. I go like this. Watch. That's it. A couple like that. You don't have to do it that way. You can literally go like this. But the only thing is with that is you're just getting kind of the outside of the of the gullet. So then you'd come back and you would you would get it like this. So you can do this. It does not matter. It as long as your finishing strokes end up looking like something along this line. And the reason I'm coming right out of the tooth is because I'll hear people say you're dragging your file back. You see, friends? Okay. So, yeah, you want to you want to maintain it going straight. Of course you do. You don't have to push so hard on a file, friends, too. Remember, this might help you. Here's a filing tip for you, friends. Listen. If it's a good good sharp file, you don't have to push hard. That sometimes screws our stroke up. If you just rest it on there, see, this doesn't have a ton of gullet, this thing right now. You can see it, it, it doesn't, okay? But anyways, um, friends, you, you can, you, what was I talking about? Oh, just, right, just slide it, slide the file through like this. I'm not pushing hard, therefore, it's easy to keep a nice straight line with the file. It's when we put, start putting a little stank on the file like this, that things change a little bit, right? Okay, friends. So I'm, just, I'm just giving him a little touch more gullet on this is all I'm doing. He's doing a pretty good job. But I wouldn't want him to jump on it and keep going in this theme. This is going to cut nice. Here's what... Here's what we're looking like. It's this tooth right here, so let's move up. Here, I'll turn this sideways for you. Sorry, friends, I'm all over, I know, but I want to give you an idea. This one. Whoa, I'm way up there. That's crazy. Is that? No, it's this one, <laughs> friends. Sorry. <laughs> it's this one. See? So there you go. Isn't that terrible focus, friends? Isn't that awful? There. You can see the hook regardless of the uh, focus. Stupid thing. <laughs> okay. Back out of here. Let's just get on it. I want to go back inside for coffee. So we'll, uh, there we go. Lighten up on your file if you want to do those little cleanup strokes too, friends, to get that little burr off. Just lighten off and just let it glide through. And you'll notice sometimes you'll grab that little burr there, right? What happens when I touch the screen? Got a little lighter, didn't it? The reason I do this stay tight is because I'm right on to my stroke. I stay close to my stroke. That's why people think I'm dragging my file back, which I am not.
Yeah, this one needs help. There we go. I don't know what happened to that one. Now I can straighten out after I take the barbarism out of it. Straighten out. A few more finish up strokes. I know it seems like a lot of strokes, friends. That's because it is. But I could do 50, I could do 50 strokes with no pressure at all and it would hardly remove any meat. Right? I just want this thing to cut. So now, because the teeth will be kind of different sizes, we'll grab our famous Husqvarna raker gauge. Oh yeah, this is nice. Wow, he's got this, uh, he's getting better. He is, he's getting better friends. The old filing game takes time, friends. I'm just getting them back on course here, that's all. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I'll bet you I'm done. I got like, yep, that's it, last two's right here. And it's not even that bad. Let's just give it a quick. You gotta be able to have light on the top here too so you can see what's going on. There we go. Okay. There we go. That is good enough for now. Now. Here's the ordeal. These items. Stick it on the tooth. Start removing. If you want to see how this goes, it goes like this. I know there was somebody struggling there. Somebody sent me a video of somebody struggling. They were trying to put the tooth in the middle of the, of the raker gauge. That's not how it goes. It goes off to the side like that. See that, friends? It goes off to the side like this, not in the middle. It doesn't go like that. That's not how it goes. It goes like this, and then on the other side, it goes like that. Okay, it's off to the side, friends, all right? Like this. Okay. And you can file all the same way. This thing's gonna cut like freaking wildfire. Okay, friends. Next. Listen to the birds. What the heck is going on, friends? There's one that's where they doubled up on a link right there when they put the chain together. See, this thing's gonna be nuts. We'll do a cut with that later, friends. Listen to those birds, they sound like spring birds. Oh yeah, see this one was quite low, or high. Using the husky where you can see that one, friends, that wasn't even touched. So that tells you a little something. Tells you somebody was at this by hand before. And you'll notice with these husky gauges, I got lucky. Uh, I've had this one a while and it was the one with the good steel. They sell them now with crap steel. And you're, you see, my, my file's not, it's not filed. See the steel? It, it's it's harder steel whereas the ones they're making now they're made with some crap steel and you go through them I have not this is friends I've been using this this freaking gauge forever it it's never you know what I mean like it it doesn't file the metal down it doesn't file the gauge itself yeah see these are yeah this thing was wacky this should be better now yeah. Yeah, the rakers were all over the place, friends. I file them all the same way. Oh yeah, see, some aren't even.
Okay, here we go. I would reckon I'm there. Yep, there it is right there. You can always tell. Okay, now for the finishing touch. Sorry. We go. Merry Christmas, boy. You're doing a good job. Seriously, I'm not just saying that because you're my kid. You're doing a good job. I'm proud of you. All right, Sonny. Merry Christmas to you.